Uh, I was just going to say, we're going to kind of get started promptly here. I'm going to have to cut this off at half past for another meeting. Um, my apologies, but something relatively urgent came up. Um, so uh, let's run down the usual suspects here. Um, the viewer pipeline, what's out? Uh, we have a crash fix for the GPU benchmark viewer. Um, I believe that's going to get promoted um, to the general release today, um, possibly any minute now. Um, so that will be nice. It turns out it was affecting, we have now have reason to believe it was affecting a few more people than we thought it was. So uh, we're going to, we're going to push that fix out. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's why we're doing it, Jonathan. Um, uh, there is a, a release candidate for faster texture and mesh timeouts. Not sure yet whether that's going to actually ever become the standard thing. We're still studying that. Um, there's a collection of the maintenance fixes the attachments fixes, which were a separate release candidate up until last week, have been merged into that one. So, uh, but I've asked Veer to keep that uh, the old repo that just had the attachments fixes in it around for a while for any of you that want to try and cherry pick those early. Um, but that maintenance release is also, you know, in the in the pipeline and to be fixed um, and then of course we have project viewers for experience tools oculus rift and viewer managed marketplace um, and we expect at least uh, two of those that is viewer managed marketplace and experience tools to move into release candidates soon so um, that's the current status of the pipeline on the viewer side. Um, there's not a lot of drama happening on the server side right now. Um, we are continuing to play with how the CDNs work and tweak them and test them. Um, we're getting much better. We've, we've gotten some good fixes. Uh, done on the high wind CDN and some of the worst problems have gone away. Um, we're still studying it and still trying to tweak things and improve them, but uh, there's no dramatic new news on that. Um, so, viewer managed marketplace, folks are here to talk about what's up with that. So, Brooke, take it away. Hi. Um, so, first off, we have to thank Worley for the issues that have already been found and logged as bugs. Um, and there were a couple of other people who filed some issues uh, for us, and we appreciate those who have been able to take a look at this. Um, so um, we are hoping to continue to get feedback on this. Um, and we realize that it's only been a couple of weeks, so not everybody may have had a chance to give it a try. We're planning to leave it up um, in alpha on a DD for uh, you know through through the December and early January holiday season, and so um, hopefully there will be plenty of time to find issues, um, give us uh, feature feedback, etc. I'm also going to set up an in-world session. I wanted to meet with the, the third-party viewer developers first, but I'll set up, I'm going to set up a session next week to get uh, merchant feedback, and I'll probably host that on Aditi. Um, so you all are welcome to, uh, to give it a try. Uh, yes, I was surprised by that too, Worley. So I'm hoping that setting up an in-world meeting will give them a chance to provide some feedback. Um, we do have a private forum set up with some of the merchants we had invited to do the initial feedback. And one of them 
actually said, um, I can't remember who it was, he or she was surprised and they actually loved it, which I have never <laughs> had such positive feedback on something. So, um, so we uh, will, I'm sure there's some things that we can improve and, uh, and we want to make sure that we do before we go to production. Um, one other thing that I do want to mention is um, on the FAQ that Worley shared earlier, and I'm going to paste it again uh, as more people have probably shown up. Um, we, I added the links at the bottom of this to the API documentation that we have. And um, I asked the developers who worked on this project to be here today in case there are any questions that have come up. Um, and so it may be too soon for questions to have come up, but we'll, um, we'll plan another time either in a couple of weeks or maybe early January for them to come back. So are there any questions, comments, additional information that we should be providing to help you all? Let us know. Rick, I'm just, I apologize if my voice breaks up. Um, what uh, channels have you used to reach out to the merchants? We posted a blog in the, um, on the commerce blog, and we announced it to the private group. I was just going to say, what about um, sending a message out through, um, because you've got, obviously, merchants are signed up for the marketplace. Mm -hmm. um, sending an email to all the merchants. Um, we could certainly do that. Um, I, you know, I just have a feeling if you've got silence yeah. in the forums, maybe a lot of merchants have no idea. Yeah. Um, I, what I was planning to do as far as announcing this was put a post actually in the forum and maybe see if people responded there, but a direct email might make sense too. Um, the thing about a direct email is there are a lot of people that I would go out to, and well, of course, and we're but going I mean, to like our blog gets a lot of a lot of traffic, but yet when we make a blog post, a lot of people don't know. <laughs> they just don't keep track of that stuff. Okay, that's that's good feedback. Um, so, and one other thing that I can actually do is I can um, put a note on the marketplace. Um, on the front page of Merchant Admin, which yeah, into there when they see. log in, if they've got it up on their marketplace page, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, um, anyway, cool, good suggestions. If there's no more feedback, um, we'll plan to come back. I mean, do people think they're going to have a chance to really try this out um, in the next couple of weeks um, and have so because I can have the developers come mm. or we're wait until January. About to do a, we're about to do a fear release as well and there's another thing coming um, before Christmas. As far as uh, the fire team, probably in all honesty, not until the new year. Is that, so um, it looks like um, Anamorph, you'll have some time. Are others trying to meet deadlines in the near future and maybe we should just come back in January? And of course, you know, you can file JIRAs and, you know, um, contact us directly. So in the absence of we want you to come back on the 19th, I think what I'll plan to do is have the developers come back in early January. And um, and if something comes up before then, we can certainly decide to, to jump in. Thanks, everyone. OK, so. Uh, there's that. Um, 
Let's see, our other ongoing topics, uh, I mentioned texture and mesh, mesh fetching, say that five times fast. Um, we are continuing to test and tweak and improve the back end for that. Um, and we've been getting some great help from a number of residents. Uh, it's It's been very useful uh, and overall it's working really well. Um, still working around at the edges where it, where it didn't, but, um, group chat, uh, more changes are being made as usual. We won't tell you exactly when, but, um, these are mostly robustness fixes rather than performance fixes. Um, at the moment, our big problem is not that group chat is slow. It's that once in a great while, some groups get backed up and don't forward things much at all. So that's where our focus is right now. Um, and uh, we are continuing to do development on the hover thing. Um, is Sphere here? Scanning the list real quickly. Don't see him. Um, anyway, Veer's working on that and probably should have something to talk about uh, in a couple of weeks. Um, so and I think that's all the usual status things. Um, a minor warning because another issue has come up that I need to attend to. I'm going to have to cut this off at half past the hour. So um, the floor is open. Uh, we don't have much uh, other than uh, we're scheduled to release. 6 p.m. Um, SL time on the 10th. Um, and also, a question for Baker. When you guys um, rolled out uh, group bands and your viewer went out with it, did you see much additional load? Um, not that I have heard of. Okay, because this release is going to have, uh, this Firestorm release will have group bands. Um, so there's always that possibility that to that uptake might apply some additional load. Yeah, I the last time I checked the database, which was a few months ago, it was, um, there was about 3,000 bands in it, in the total table. So it's, it's not that bad. Okay, well, just uh, expect it to go up, Baker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, by the sound of it, it would have to go up a lot before it became an issue. But yes, um, we'll 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 keep an eye on that. <clears throat> I'm going to whisper two words to you: display names. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh. Exactly. So we'll see. Um. Uh. The question in chat about the toolchain project where. We're getting very close to being able to build on both Mac and Windows um, cleanly and with all the right stuff. Um, we're, we're, um, yeah, we're, we're slogging through uh, the, the details. Um, yes, Visual Studio 2013 on Windows and uh, Xcode 6.1 with Clang, of course. Uh, on Yosemite on the Mac. So, um, yeah, we'll, when we, when we think we've got it right, we'll, we'll put up a wiki about it. Um, so, and of course, all of that is with the new version of AutoBuild, which is, um, both has some usability improvements and some annoying new checks. Um, and, uh, I, we are in the process of getting the wiki to be editable again pretty soon. Um, that's that's being tested now. So um, I wouldn't venture to guess a date because I don't like guessing dates. But so that's it's, soon it's with the trademark working. symbol. Yeah. Right. Um, the the trick with getting the new auto build working on Windows is to use 
PyPy to install it rather than just running out of a working copy. Uh, Uh, use uh, it's it'll be on the wiki page. It's on the wiki page. In fact, it's on the auto build update wiki page. Um, I think. Yeah. If you if you install it like that, oh well, chat wrapped that for me. Make that into one line, but. Um, if you, if you, yeah, that's the wiki page about the new, ver the changes to auto build. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, we're continuing to find small issues with it. I'm working on one right now, in fact, but, uh, but uh, it, it basically works. Um, we've been using it heavily for a couple of months now, um, but we're we're down to just a package or two on each of the platforms, and we're trying to get everything to the same build numbers and all that. Um, so it's coming along. Um, Linux is pretty far behind. Anybody that wants to help on that, you're more than welcome. Um, it. Uh, we we may well go so far as to begin releasing the the versions built with the new tools on the other platforms and uh, and let Linux lag uh, because I'm not really willing to hold it up for for Linux fixes. But we'll we'll cross that bridge when we actually get to it. Okay, other issues? I, I had two, one that I can't remember, and the other one was for Izzy, so uh, I'll just email Izzy, I think. Okay. Uh, I wanted to thank you for those operating stats, operating system stats, very interesting. <clears throat> yeah, I, I worked out how to do some queries myself, um, so I have I have those canned, um, and I can I can do them again when I need to. Uh, well, I think it's it's a metric that probably doesn't change very often, but um, I, I yeah, find myself keep going back to it and looking at it, like scanning it over and charting it out every which way I can. Right, I did some similar ones with GPUs, but it it turns out that. Um, like the most popular GPUs are are barely one percent of the of the user base, so it's it's almost. I would be very interested to see that. Yeah, I um, well, I did them. I did them just for our viewer. Um, I could I could try doing that again sometime when I've got more time than I've got at the moment. I, I don't think it would actually change much from viewer to viewer, really. Yeah, I think it'll be interesting to see, you know, when everybody gets their new PCs for Christmas. We'll we'll, uh, we'll see if we get a, a, a you know a shift in the in the uh, in the GPU strings that are being reported. Too late. I got mine for Halloween. In the um, one of the things that changed, by the way, when we got rid of the GPU table, is that. Uh, it now records and reports the raw GPU string because, of course, we're no longer doing the recognize and simplify step that we used to do as part of looking you up in the GPU table because we don't have a GPU table to look you up in anymore. Um, uh, <clears throat> no, I just ran I ran stats for a couple of the largest viewers. Um, as I was doing it for our viewer, and so I tried it on theirs just to see if it came out. Um, I, I don't think I did singularity, uh, but I probably can. Maybe after New Year's, I'll I'll do a, a round for all the major viewers. Okay. Oz, I just had a, a bird drop into my ear, and um, 
suggested that I ask you for a new one of those. Frame rates by GPU. Oh yeah, I've um, somebody somebody gave me this link a while ago, and <laughs> uh, right, uh, and I have I have asked our our uh, team that does that sort of thing to see if they can produce a a version of that report for me. Um, that would that's, be huge. That's much trickier than the just getting you know how many OSs there are. Um, uh, well, now that I've seen that, uh, you can anticipate I'll be bugging you about it in the next right. one. <laughs> right. I understand. Um, Oz, uh, one thing I think we're all going to get you the jar for this, but um, we came across on your site somebody who was having problems with the viewer, and it ended up that they were on a sys card, which. Uh, prior to the removal of the GPU table was blocked. So I don't know, so my, I guess my, what I wanted to point out is um, how are we dealing with old, old cards that should be blocked? We're not. If they don't work, they don't work. We're no longer making an attempt to actually recognize that they're not going to work. Um, uh, it's, it's, we're, we're sort of our, our strategy is to do best effort, right? We're gonna we're gonna take measurements that we can take, um, apply a couple of simple heuristics uh, based on what we've discovered doesn't work about the measurements, um, and uh, I I I have no idea, Jonathan. I don't, I don't know what it was tested on. It was not tested on even a tiny fraction of the variety of systems that are that are out there in the world. Um, that's because it's not possible for us to do that. Um, we could have what a warehouse it? full of systems and we wouldn't have nearly enough to do a significant fraction of the, the degree of variability in the field. Would it be possible to at least put in a, a basic message saying, you know, your, your, or your video card doesn't support um, OpenGL level such and such, please upgrade or something like that? Uh, I can talk to the, I can talk to the rendering guys about that. Um, we're, I, th I think we're putting out. Anything else? I got well, nothing. We're going to give you five minutes back. Awesome. awesome. I can. You have called. I a little bit, just a bit sore throat, actually. Otherwise, I'm. And fine. a new microphone. Did you sound different? And, and a new mic microphone. I did get a new headset. Yeah, the old one was gradually going bad on me. I decided I had to get a new one. Actually, I've got another one of the same headset. I really like it. So It sounds quite different. <clears throat> I think that's mostly my voice that sounds different. Oh, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Don't there ask me about Snow Sovereign. I'm not happy about it. No, we got, a, we got a whole bunch of snow and ice in that one big nor'easter, and, but it's almost all gone. 
Mother Nature chose a whole off bunch of trees around my property that apparently oh, she no. thought needed to be turned into firewood. <laughs> I'm pissed off at Buffalo because now Canadians for the rest of this year will have no uh, reasonable way to complain about winter. <laughs> That's sounding like wine asses. My, my son is at university in Buffalo. At his house, there was only about a foot of snow. and Five miles south, really? there was like five feet of snow. Wow. He's a little north of the city itself. Snow is wonderful. You can't ski without it. Yeah, most of that snow that Buffalo got came through on the south side of Lake Erie, so. Right, yeah. Oh, and for the record, Jess, that last snow you got did not come from me. Yeah, I better not have. <laughs> now it's cold as hell. No, it came from me. <laughs> I'm not happy about it. All right. I'm going to... Just got snow from Texas. <laughs> Take care. Have a good weekend. Yeah, have a good weekend, folks, and if I see you, have a Merry Christmas. Merry no. Christmas, Jess. I'll, I'll be bugging you later, I think, Jess. Yeah, actually, Ed, I need to talk to you. Shit, I forgot what it was. Damn it. Damn me. Okay, uh, in world or Skype? Either one works. Uh, Skype's I probably I easier. Really, you're so evil. Uh, yeah, I'll have to catch you in Skype, I guess, Ed. Okay, catch me in Skype. I've got a, uh, uh, what is it, a 6 p.m. class? That oh, I'll be I remember sitting it was, uh, Q&A. Yeah. 21st. When? 21st. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's on a Sunday. 